Hello listeners and viewers. Welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education radio and TV e-learning program designed for our SS3 and other students staying at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. The present administration under the able leadership of His Excellency Malam Nasur Ahmed El Rufai is positioned as always to ensure that under his leadership our students are not left behind in all areas of human endeavors especially education. Kaduna State is the center of learning. Therefore, we want to ensure that our students excel in their forthcoming examinations and beyond. Students and other learners at home are given this opportunity in order to continue learning as education is a continuous process. Different subjects will be taught in this program to assist students to perform excellently in the forthcoming senior school certificates examination being conducted by NECO and WAEC as soon as schools reopen. Teachers making presentations will always provide their names and phone numbers during each presentation and they can be contacted for questions, further explanations and or clarifications. The following numbers and contacts can also be reached for expression of any concern or observation. 090-865-0054 090-865-0054 68362072 our website is www our email education at kdsg.gov.ng or education.kdsg at gmail.com our youtube channel ministry of education kaduna state our twitter handle at kaduna underscore moe or our Facebook page, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Stay safe, stay at home, and learn well. Thank you, happy listening, and happy viewing. Good day, learners. You are welcome to e-learning. My name is Rashida Hassan Umar. Our subject for discussion today is Agricultural Science. Topic, Practical 1 and 2 which include identification of simple farm tools and identification of crop, uh, crops. Practical one is identification of simple farm tools. Uh, what is simple farm tools? These are simple handy tools used mainly by peasant farmers. They are designed to help the hand to apply force in farm operation. My learners, before we start, uh, I want you to be familiar with two or three things that you are, you are expected to take a notice of. Firstly, in practicals, you have to read your questions properly and you understand the questions. Secondly, if you are asked to make any diagram and specification is given, example 10 centimeter, you are supposed or you are expected to use your ruler to draw 10 centimeter before you start your diagram. Thirdly, uh, you are expected to write correct spellings because if, you, if your spellings are not correct, it means they are going to score you wrong. Now, we want to identify these are some questions that are part of our WAEC and NECO past question papers. And also, sorry, in practical, you are supposed to go straight to the point because the question papers will be given to you and you are expected to answer put your answers right inside the question papers. So the space there is limited. So you have to go straight to the point in writing your answers. Now, for example, we have question here to answer. Identify the following specimen, A, B, C, D, and E. Secondly, state three uses and three maintenance practices of each specimen. Solution. Now, specimen A is being given there. Specimen A, as you can see, is sickle. We identify it as sickle. So you just go straight to your answer booklet and write specimen A, sickle. Then the second question, they said, set three uses. So you just go directly and write three uses of these specimens as it is written there. The first use there is it is used for harvesting cereal crops, for cutting grass pasture for animals, 
Number three, it can also be used for weeding of vegetable plants. My dear learners, you are done with the second question. So you move to the third question, which is stage three maintenance practice of these uh, specimens. Maintenance, sharpen the inner blade regularly, store in dry cool place. Number three, paint or oil before storing for a long time. So my dear learners, you are done with this specimen. So let's move to the second specimen, which is specimen B. This is specimen B. It is called Ho. It is known as Ho. So you identify it as Ho. You now go back to your answer booklet and write specimen B, Ho. Then you move to the uses. Uses of Ho. For land preparation, for making ridges and heaps, it is used for wading. The next uh, question is the maintenance. So the first maintenance there is clean or wash after use. That is you are to clean or wash your hoe after use. Number two, keep in dry cool place. Number three, sharpen blunt blade. That is if your blades are blunt, you sharpen them. Uh, let's move to the third specimen, which is specimen C. This is specimen C. As you can all see, it is head pan. We identify this as head pan. So in your answer booklet, you write specimen C is head pan. Second question is uses. So you are to state the three uses of head pan. Number one, it is used for collection or harvested, uh, collection of harvested crops. Number two, for carrying a mixing of manure. The third one, for carrying farm inputs and outputs. My dear learners, let's move to the maintenance. Keep it away from rain. Two, wash or clean after use. Third, keep in a dry, cool place. The fourth spe uh, specimen, which is specimen D, is watering can. As you can all see, it is known as the watering can. So specimen D is watering can. Uses of specimen D, it is used for application of water to crops. It is used for application of liquid fertilizers. It can also be used for watering cement or blocks for construction of farm houses. Maintenance, number one, rinse with water if used for liquid fertilizer. Two, keep nozzles free from blockage. Three, store or hang upside down to prevent rusting. My learners, the next specimen is specimen E. This is specimen E. This is specimen E. And it is called the shears. This is shears. It is specimen E. So you go back to your booklet and write Specimen E is shears, then uses of shears. Number one, shear is used for pruning operation. It is used for trimming flower hedges. It is also be easy used for cutting flowers. The next uh, question there is the maintenance. So the first answer there is sharpening your blades properly. Number two, clean or wash after use. Three, Keep away from rain to prevent roasting. My learners, uh, we have come to the end of this lesson, but before I give you an assignment, I have to repeat this. You should make sure you read your questions properly and understand its content. Secondly, you make sure you follow the specification of your diagram. Thirdly, you should make sure you write correct spellings. All your specimens should be, you should write correct spellings of your specimens. So now before the assignment, I want to summarize uh, this practical. From the beginning, I said practical one is identification of simple farm tools. Where I define simple farm tools as the handy tools used mainly by peasant farmers. They are designed to help the hand to apply force in farm 
operations. So I said the questions normally in your WAEC or NECO exams, they appear in this form. So anyway, you see this question, identify the following specimen, A, B, C, D, and E, and state three uses three maintenance practices of each specimen. So you are expected to what? To identify. You are expected to identify the specimen, then you what? You give it, you name it. When you name it, then the second question is uses. So you are expected to, what, to state it uses. After uses, you now state the importance. Please, my learners, if you are asked to state three uses, you are expected to state only three uses. And if they ask you to state three maintenance, you are not expected to uh, state more than three or less than three maintenance. So as you can see, we say specimen B, you write, you identify it. After identifying it, you state it uses. Like here in our state specimen B, we say holes, they are used for land preparation. They are used for making ridges and heaps. It is also used for weeding. It maintains clean or wash after use. Uh, keep in dry, cool place. Sharpen, blunt, bled. Specimen C, we said is head pan. Head pan is used for collection of harvested crops. It is also used for carrying and mixing of manure. You can also use it for carrying farm output and input. Maintenance, keep it away from rain so that it will not rust. Wash or clean after use, keep in a cool, dry place. Our next specimen is specimen D, which is the watering can. We say uses of watering can include use for application of water to your crops, uh, use for application of liquid fertilizers. It is also used for watering cement blocks used for construction of your farm house. Maintenance, rinse with water if uh, used for liquid fertilizer. Keep nozzles free from blockage. Store, in, uh, store or hang upside down to prevent roasting. So my dear learners, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave you with this assignment. Question one, state three uses and three maintenance practice of each of the following specimens. The first specimen is specimen F, which is the shovel. Specimen H, uh, G is wreck. Specimen H is hand fog. I repeat again, state three uses and three maintenance practices of each of the following specimen. Specimen F, which is the shovel. Specimen G is wreck. And specimen H is hand fork. So if you have uh, any question to ask or you want to submit your assignment, you can send it through my number, which is 80 I repeat. 080-3451-3576. Now, before I go, I will call on my colleague to come and present practical number two. Welcome learners, my name is Sherifat Abubakar Tayo. You are welcome to Agricultural Science Practical 2. As my colleague has said, she has discussed about identification of simple farm tools. While in this Practical 2, we are going to be identifying food crops. Definition of crop. A crop is a cultivated plant grown on either small scale or large scale by peasant farmer or commercial farmer respectively. We have, as my colleague has said, in agri-practicals, when you are given a question, you will be given your specimen. And this specimen, you have to understand and look at this specimen very well. Identify them very well. 
in order not to make mistake. In agri question, you will be given a question like identify each of the specimen given to you. Like here we have specimen A, we have specimen B, we have specimen C, and we have specimen D. The question says, identify specimen A, B, C, and D. And you have to identify all these specimens before you can answer the question. The next slide. Question number two says, write the botanical names of specimen A, B, C, and D. We have seen this specimen. We have seen specimen A, we have seen B, we have seen C, and D. We are to ask, I mean, we are to write the botanical names of this specimen. Question Roman number three says, list the method of propagating specimen A, B, C, and D. What are the methods used in propagating this specimen? That's specimen A, B, C, and D. Roman number four, state one disease, each of specimen A, B, C, and D. That is the disease that affects each of these specimens. Roman number five, state two economic importance of specimen A, B, C, and D. We have seen the question. As a student, please, when you see a practical question, don't rush into answering the question. First, we say you have to identify this specimen first. Then, the botanical names that is asked. Please, let me tell you here. In writing botanical name, you have to write a correct spelling in order to earn you your mark. Then, botanical name has to be underlined, and it must carry two names. That is the generic name and a specific, I mean, species name. Solution to the question. Now, in answering question number one, which is identify specimen A, B, C, and D. You say specimen A is maize seed. Specimen B is granite seed. Specimen C is cassava tuber, while specimen D is tomato fruits. These are the specimens given to you in which you need to identify them and name them. Coming to the second question, which is the writing of botanical names of this specimen. Specimen A, the botanical name of specimen A, which is maize seed, is called Z maize. Specimen B, which is granite seed, is called Arachis hypogeal. Specimen C, which is cassava tuber, the botanical name is manioc species. Specimen D is tomato fruits, which the botanical name is called Lycopasicum esculentus. Note, my students, I said in writing botanical name, there are two names involved here. The first name is the generic name, while the second one is the special name. And this must be on the line. These two names has to be on the line singly don't join the line together, please. You have to underline them singly. And again, you have to write these botanical names with a correct spelling. If one letter is missing in this botanical name, you will get it wrong. And the examiner will not give it to you. So you have to study your letters 
very well in writing your botanical names. The third question says, what are the method of propagating this specimen? For specimen A, which is maize seed, we can propagate them by using seeds. That is, how do you, uh, how do you plant your maize seed? With what? How? You use seed for planting our maize seed. That is by seed or by sexual propagation. For specimen B, it's, it is also propagated by seeds or by sexual propagation. Specimen C is propagated by stem cutting. That is, in planting our cassava, we don't use seed in this case, but by stem cutting. The stem of cassava is what is being used for planting or asexual propagation. Specimen D, is, which is tomato fruits, is also propagated by seeds or sexual propagation. The question four says, name one diseases each, name one disease each of specimen A, B, C, and D. The disease that affects our specimen A, which is maize seed, is called maize smuts. We have other diseases that, affect, that can affect maize plants. But one of them is maize smut. The disease that affects our granite seed is known as granite rosetti. Granite rosetti. The disease that affects specimen C is known as cassava mosaic disease. Cassava mosaic disease. The disease of, um, of tomato is known as root knot. Root knot. That is the disease that can affect our tomato fruits. Question number five. Economic importance of specimen A, B, C, and D. The economic importance of specimen A, which is the maize seed, it is used for making semovita. Another importance is it is used for making corn flakes. Economic importance of specimen B are A, it is processed as cake meal for animals. It is used in making granite cake as a meal for our livestock. B, it is a source of protein. Economic importance of specimen C. A, A, it serves as food for man and livestock. B, it can be processed into cassava flakes. Economic importance of specimen D, which is tomato fruits, are A, it can be processed into tomato paste. B, it is used for making salad. Before I will give you your assignments. In summary, for today's practical, we said a crop is a cultivated plant grown on either small scale or large scale by peasant farmers or commercial farmer respectively. Then we went as far as identifying this specimen 
A, B, C, and D. Then the second question says, write the botanical names of specimen A, B, C, and D. Question three, list the method of propagating specimen A, B, C, and D. Four, state one disease each of specimen A, B, C, and D. Five, state two economic importance of specimen A, B, C, and D. And your answers can be specimen A. Please, as my colleague have said, in writing answers to practical questions, you don't have to write stories. Go straight to the point by saying specimen A is maize seed, specimen B is granose seed, specimen C, cassava tuber, specimen D, tomato fruits. The botanical names are specimen A, known as Z maize, specimen B, arachis hypogeal, specimen C, manioc species, specimen D, lycopasicon esculentus. Esculentu. The next question is, I mean, the answer to the next question says the methods of propagating specimen A, B, C, and D. They have specimen A by seed, specimen B by seed, specimen C by stem cutting, specimen D by seed also. The diseases that affect specimen A, B, C, and D are, for A, we have maize moths, for B, we have granots rosetti, for specimen C, we have cassava mosaic, for specimen D, we have root nuts. The economic importance of each of these specimens, for specimen A, it is used for making semovita, B, it is used for making conflicts. For specimen B, we have, it is processed as cake meal for animals, it is a source of protein. For specimen C, we have, it serves as food for man and livestock. B, it can be processed into cassava flakes. For specimen D, it can be processed into tomato paste. B, it is used for making salad. Now your assignments, my student. One, define the term propagation. Two, list any two varieties of maize and granules. Three, list any two pests of maize, granules, and tomato. I repeat. For your assignments, question one, define the term propagation. Question two, list any two varieties of maize and granules. Question three, list any two pairs of maize, granules, and tomato. You can forward your answers to this line, 080-6829-3928. My name is Sherifat Abubakar Tayo, and my name remains Sherifat Abubakar Tayo, and my colleague name is Mrs. Rashidat Hassan Umar, and our phone number remains 080 I repeat, my colleague name is Rashidat Hassan Umar, our phone number is 080 3451-3576. Keep learning, stay safe, all the best.